Today I want to continue my series about photo festivals and I want to tell you about one of my favorite which is the Trieste Photo Days which is an annual festival every year it takes place in Trieste in northern Italy. Let's start with Trieste, which is a very beautiful city. It's located in the northeast of Italy, on the border to Slovenia, and it's about um, one and a half hours drive north of Venice. And it used to be a very wealthy, rich city because it was an important port in the north of the Adriatic Sea. The people in Trieste are very friendly, which makes that it's nice to do street photography there because you can walk around and take photos of the architecture and of the people, urban life, without uh, getting into trouble. It's just something really pleasant to do. Many times there is a spectacular light with beautiful sunshine because Trieste lies on the seaside. So you have the clouds and the blue skies and the sunshine. And sometimes you have a very strong wind, the Bora, which is something that is really mm, very special to the city as it's so strong. The festival Trieste Photo Days is a very big international photography festival focused on urban photography. And, but not only, social documentary is a big focus. And it takes part every year just, uh, just before uh, Halloween. And it's big in terms of participants. There are lots of international people who come and participate in form of presenting photos and photo series that are selected through a mm, competition and then exposed in the whole city. And it's so beautiful because the whole city is involved. You go to museums, to bars, to restaurants, to um, exposition halls, everywhere you find photos of the Trieste photo days during those three or four days. I have been there four times already. So I start to get to know Trieste and the festival pretty well. What I really like about the Trieste Photo Days Festival is that it's a place where I'm able to connect to people. In fact, many people come back every year, so it's like a family gathering once a year. And then they always invite some big, well-known photographers, mostly from Magnum. So there was Martin Parr, Alex Webb, um, Bruce Gilden, Susan Meiselas, really people who are well known and who have an incredible work. And they are there all the days, all day long, and they are present to share, to speak, to interact, to get to know them. And this makes this festival really special. And I had several photos of mine displayed as well and obviously it's always flattering to see my photos somewhere in, a, in an exhibition next to well-known people or just also in a restaurant or a, or a cafe. Yeah, you get into a place to just to have a beer and suddenly you're sitting in front of your photo. That's wonderful. What strikes me most in the Trieste photo days from the very first beginning is that there are no hierarchies. Uh, hierarchies, hierarchies, whatever. So everybody's the same, no matter if you are someone who's just passing by or if you're a big magnum photographer, everybody is on the same level. Everybody's there to talk, to chat, to speak. And you have the possibility to join the dinners and uh, the conferences, everything, just uh, without making uh, your, up your mind if you are worth it if you are able to be invited or something. My best memories are from the two festivals where I met first Martin Parr in 2019 and then Susan Meiselas this year, 2022, last year actually. And both encounters were so um, incredible because they were really open-minded and connected to us and they were um, 
happy to speak to the people and to share their knowledge and to answer questions. And since they were there over several days and not just for a few hours, it was really possible to develop a discourse and to get back to get new questions answered. And so this is something that I really like about the Trieste Photo Days Festival. Well, the next festival is coming up in late October. I'm ready to go. Perhaps we can meet there. That would be fun, I'm sure. The organizers, who are wonderful people, Stefano Ambrosett and his crew, and Mara, and everybody who's there, they are wonderful people who are very friendly and always open for all your questions. And I'm very sure they will be happy if there are more participants coming from everywhere. So come to see this festival and come to see Trieste, the beautiful city up in northern Italy.